friends welcome back to my crafty desk my name's Sandra at Blossom and Inspire and I am taking a break from the cover and I need to make some ephemera for this I'm still working on the idea journal book and trying to get those things put in there so I don't want to use my my one and only's yet so I pulled some pieces out that I am gonna replicate um, and then we can do it we can go from there what I want to do is I want to make ephemera for here for this big um, journal. I want things that are gonna lay um, fairly flat because no matter what we do, um, when we put stuff in there, it does bulk up. Pulled out some pieces that I like. Um, this is something that I really like. It's, you know, copy dye. It's easy, it lays really flat. It's nice and it still gives me room where I can put something behind it and we're at this way. Am I on the camera? I can go this way, that way, but I have a little pocket here. Get um, a bigger, pocket and it could be a double pocket it's still flat I can put something in here and then and that's actually quite long I could put something in this way and then something in this way and then put a little pocket right here because you know we're not gonna bulk it up <laughs> but that's an idea so I don't want to make that one right now that's not the one I pulled out to do today or at this moment I've got lots of things to do, so, and I know I'm not gonna get them all done on one video. This is one thing that I wanted to make right here. Let me see, I'll stick these ones aside. These are things to make. Ah, that was, that was hurtful on the ears. This is something that I made. I think, and it was just a little thing that was in my stash, and it's just with a couple of envelopes, junk mail, and it was just sitting in my thing to replicate. Like I didn't make this because it's for anything wonderful because it's not really fancy. But, so I went and I just grabbed a couple of envelopes out of my stash. I have a giant envelope stash. So I grabbed a couple of the envelopes and they're not copy dyed. So of course I just tortured this to no end to pull it apart. And I was gonna make it exactly like this, but then, you know, you know, it just evolves, right? So. This one is actually two envelopes. There's a pocket here. There'll be a, there would be a pocket here. There would be a pocket here. And then of course, whenever it's attached, you can have a tuck space anywhere else or a belly band, whichever you like, or whatever you wanna do. So as I was pulling this apart, I thought it went like this. And I thought, you know, I really like that other thing I did on that, um, up that other envelope. I like belly bands. I love belly bands. <laughs> if you don't know that, I do love them. So. Um, I thought I'm gonna take this, I think, and I'm gonna flip it this way because this is already nice and smooth, even though I'm gonna put scrapbooking paper on there. I just figured it's easier to move, to play with. And then I thought, why don't I just make this a belly band? Why not? So it would be a belly band inside these two pockets, right? And I'm gonna leave it long because my pages are longer. So this would be up here. And then this one would be here. So this would be fully covered, right? So I would still, I still have that cute thing about my two little pockets, but maybe instead of putting the pocket right here, I'll put the pocket notch over here on the sides. This one can stay on top or this one can be on the side. So they both come out, you know, so there's a pocket and then there's a pocket, but they're also little doors that open up. And then inside here, before it was just plain, which I could do something with it if I wanted to, but instead of that, I still can have a pocket behind if I want, but I can have a belly band here, down that way. You see what I'm saying? So I think that's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna try it and see. So what I'm gonna do now is, um, and then I decided to go ahead and keep these flaps just for stability. I'm gonna go ahead and glue those down. I'm gonna glue this on top of a piece of paper and then I'll flip these over and then that way that paper will be on this side, yes. Yes, oh, I think that is the that is that is the ticket. So that is the envelope. So let's. I grab some scrapbooking paper, and I think what I want is my. I got these two here to play with for this project. So now I'm just trying to decide: Do I want my my um, these flaps to be the solid green? I think I do. So they would be just solid green. So I'm gonna kind of do that color blocking, I guess, in a way now, um, like Rhoda had um, suggested to me before, which I didn't understand what all that meant. <laughs> I was like, I don't know what I don't know what that means. <laughs> She's probably getting a good giggle. 
So then that would be that color. And then maybe what I'll do is I'll put this one on the inside like that to break it up. Um, or this way on the inside. And then this one as the flaps. Decisions, decisions. Okay, so I think I like this on the inside there. You know what, if I don't like it, I've got two of these, two more of these, and I can just do that. So let's get this started. I'm gonna go ahead and get this glue down. I'm just gonna use glue stick here. And I guess a glue book would be helpful for this messy girl. This, all of these, all this stuff is so thin, I don't feel like it's gonna bulk it up. And like I said, if it does, it does. I mean, like, we'll just deal with it. We'll just deal. Someone somewhere in the world will like it, this journal. <laughs> I think this is why I stick to like the one size all the time because it's just so much easier. I don't, I can use all my brain power on just um, doing like the decorating stuff that I'd really like to do instead of trying to figure out all this crazy um, dimensions and things, which I'm just not very good at it, you know? So I guess I would glue it this way because then that way, so the only way to do that is to do it like that. So is everybody enjoying this process or am I driving you absolutely nuts with my, ind my indecisiveness? Then I'm going to, okay, yep, yeah, that's not glued down, that's good. Okay, yes. Yeah. I'm just trying to make sure I'm following my own direction here. on myself this is easier in the sense that it doesn't um, use my hand power as much at the moment there we go. so um, there we go oh look at me look at me getting it done so proud of myself <laughs> now I gotta do that again so is there like, let's just, I can do it. I can do it again. I can do it, I know it. Oh, my hands are so cold. I didn't turn the heat on at all today, but my hands are just chilly. So am I doing this right? No, see, I'm already messing it up. This part has to be glue, who, who caught me? <laughs> Right? That, yes, because then that's going to be the... No. Okay. So I need to glue it that way because it comes this way. Yes. So this part gets glued. Okay, I had it right. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> okay. Got it. So a little update, um, I was offered the job and I love my friends so much and I really wanna do it, but I think I need a little bit more consist, I mean, not only did I get flat, maybe I need to be more, um, <laughs> I need to narrow down my, my affirmations or whatever I'm putting out into the universe because um, I wanted the most flexible. That's what I kept saying too, I want the most flexible and boy, did they give me the most flexible. And I know it's what they, you know, like, it has to work for everybody, but um, my husband, like I said, was not excited about the um, not set. Like the part time is fine. Part time and working is fine. We have so many projects going on, so he has to be able to. And I have YouTube, and that's important to me right now. And I hope for a very long time. I hope it stays this way because I'm really liking it. I don't. I mean, the only reason why I would ever stop is because 
people just stopped watching my videos and they were just like, go get a life, Sandra. <laughs> go get a different life. We don't want you here anymore. Um, so that's important. Um, and anyhow, so he wasn't excited about that and he wasn't saying anything to me because he didn't want to hurt my feelings or make me feel like, like he doesn't, he doesn't tell me what to do. He's like, if it makes you happy, but we had a talk and I said, what do you, he was acting kind of funny. So I just asked him and he's not thrilled about it. He said, it'd be different if it was like part time. And even, even though it's only a couple hours a day for a few days, it'd be different if it was set, like where you, where the flexibility would be if I needed to work from home, I could. And if I needed to, um, if I was going on a, a trip, then I would do it. But he said, honestly, he goes, you're not going to have time when we go out of town. He says, you know, like I don't even take my crafting stuff with me anymore. I used to take a craft bag with me just for in case stuff. Um, in case like there was like dead time in the day, but there's never dead time in the day. I have so many grandkids and kids out there that, and that's where I want to, that's what I go there to spend my time with them. That is what I go there to do. And, um, and then go thrifting. <laughs> so basically that's my craft time is the thrifting. So, and I don't even choose thrifting over the grandkids. Like if it's, if it came down to like just only so much time to be out there, then we just don't, I don't go thrifting. I spend the time at with the kids. So there's that. And then there's, that's one part of it. So that's, so I would never really, that wouldn't work. Cause I would be so stressed out taking my work phone or laptop or whatever it is with me because if they're if I'm getting paid and I gave my word if I give my word for something you know that's that means something that's important and um, promises are not meant to be broken I mean sometimes life happens and we can't we do our very best that's how I believe we do our very best but promises are not meant to be broken crossing crossies don't count when you make a promise when you give your word that's something it's something to me and so um, I hold myself to that standard so whether somebody else held me to that standard doesn't even matter I'm gonna hold myself to that standard so I need to be good anyhow all that to say gosh I just ramble 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 um, so between that and that's not gonna work he said and he, he doesn't think it's gonna work he thinks I'm gonna get over overwhelmed and stressed out and then you know he's got to deal with the aftermath of that <laughs> Um, then there's also, um, we have so many projects going on is what he said is that he's been really liking that, um, I've taken over the cooking, which he knows that'll end pretty much if I'm like running here doing this work and I'm answering the phones here and answering these emails and I'm, then I'm trying to do my YouTube and I'm trying to do our, you know, the bills and the errands like this just, he says it's without having set hours and you're going to be pulled in every different direction throughout the day. And I know how you are. You're going to want to devote and dedicate because that's who you are. And you're not going to get, you're going to get overwhelmed. Like it's too much. Like if it was just set hours and you went someplace and you were like, okay, I'm going to go work here for two hours or three hours or one hour or what, even no matter what it was, I couldn't do that. Because then I know, like if I leave the house, even if I was only going to work in the office for, for one hour or three hours, it doesn't even matter. I know that I'm out there. So I'm going to do stuff before I go to work. I'll have, I'll have my own like kind of schedule thing. I've, this is what I want to accomplish before I leave the, the house, leave the house. I get up at four, four thirty anyway, so I can do it. Um, and then before I came home or if I left early for work, depending on what time they had me go in, if it was a set thing, then I would do my other errands. I would go check the mail and I, or mail packages, or I would run to the grocery store, to the pharmacy. Like I would do those things and then come home. Does that make sense? Okay, so I have that part done, and now we need to do the back part of it. Wouldn't that be pretty if it was a copy dye, though? I mean, and I, I, I'm thinking that I kind of like just that white. It's not bright white. Let's see. Ooh, it is on that. <laughs> oh, it is on that. Okay, but I could, I wonder if I could just toned it down, but it's not. Oh, no, no. I think that one would be okay, but I think this blends into this too much. Okay, so. We'll skip, we'll skip that really quick here. We're going to go and do the pockets now on this one. And um, I think what I'm going to do is just, should I just go ahead and should I just go ahead and cut the sliver now or after I glue this on there? And should the pockets be this? It was kind of nice that these were like little hidey pockets. Should I do it the same color? What? 
Should I do it the same color as the back? Maybe I just should put this on it. So yeah, I do like that. Maybe I should put this on right now. And let's choose the side that we're gonna pick that we would like the most. I think this right here. Okay, so let's do that. Anyhow, so I'm gonna have to decline the job and I feel horrible because I feel like even though I haven't even started working, they were excited, I was excited, and then now I'm just gonna let people down and I just feel like, I feel, I feel like a piece of crap. I really do, I just. <sighs> but it's better just to, to let them know now that I, I don't think, I kinda like that too, that I'm not gonna be able to do that, then try it and when I already feel like this, then try it and be like, later on, that's a waste of t their time and money. That's that's really not nice. So I guess I can take that back. I don't have to feel as bad as I feel, but I do. Um, I do have this folder right here. Of, so I've been going through all my digis um, that I have, my digi kits that I have printed for the last so many years. I pulled all these, so I, I put my little tag on there for single, single and double-sided digi prints, but these are for collage, which technically this is kind of like a collaged piece, right? So, let's see. Do we have anything in here that we may, that we might like? I did like that book page of that yellowing, but I don't have any other ones. So, um, weathered textures, dude, I put down who, who, who did this? I don't, I did not. So far, I have not seen that, that color. I don't like that one for this, or that one. Or I like all these, but obviously I printed them. <laughs> Gotta make something with them. Um, I mean, that's kind of nice. I did this one, this is pretty. This is a double-sided one though, so. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, I think that would go pretty, but will it go pretty with the colors that we chose here? Yep, I think so. Oh, I think it should be good. I would have to have enough for those pockets though, wouldn't I? I only have this one, but yeah, okay. I'm gonna do it, we're just like, it's just paper. If I don't like it, I can change it later. Let's do this. Instead of this paper that I was trying to figure out which way to go, we'll just do this. And I'm gonna get those white pages because I wanna use the um, edge for my to line me out. There we go. So we may only get one piece of ephemera done per video, but at least on this one, I, but I feel like this is, this is more, a more involved little piece here. And I didn't technically make one beforehand. That piece there is um, at least one years old, maybe two. So that's how long it's been since I've done it. And I don't even know what I was trying to accomplish. So let's show you. Now we just need to put this back on here and run some glue down it. Get to that. I only want it, I should just be very careful here. Maybe if I go like this. Well, that would have been smarter to do before. I was thinking maybe if I fold those flaps the other way, then it would help me just not get glue on this. But if all else fails, then we'll just have a secret and that's all there is to that. I want to line, kind of use this edge here and here. Okay, well. So I am kind of sad though about not having that job. I was like, really looking forward to the extra money, but 
Oh, well, I'm not like hurting for it. I, I feel like I've been saying that so much people are thinking like, oh my gosh, that poor girl, she's not even gonna be able to eat. Trust me, I eat, I do eat. I just, I feel, um, I've just always had a job. I've always worked. I've always had a, something coming in, whether it was babysitting or housekeeping or something. I've always had a job and contributed as well in that manner. And it feels like I know I have a job. I take care of the house. I take care of my husband. I, and I help on all of our projects. I do technically have a job. Um, we do have rentals um, and we we did sell a couple of our places though and we bought a couple places afterwards but they need work anyways blah so um so we do have i mean i'm not broke <laughs> thank god i mean i have been broke many times in my life so i know what it's like to be there and i'm not there um i just feel like i don't know it's just a weird feeling to not have that contribution anymore and to still want to like go shopping and buy stuff here and there like not that I not that I'm like going crazy shopping but still you know that's all it is that really is all it is at this moment and then my husband told me he's like how long are you think you're gonna want to work he goes because hopefully these projects that we're on will be done within you know a year and a half or so um, hopefully not that long but it could take with you know there's winter and stuff if it took a year and a half is that's pretty um, then you know are you gonna want to still work that's really pretty Oh, I'm not on that one. It's too yellow. I'm, but anyways, I don't have to pick the page right now. We just got to get this done. So, you know, will you feel bad later on? Like, what if you only stick with it for a year? I mean, that's a pretty big um, job. Property management and all. So, now I want to cover this. Do I want to cover both sides? And would it be easier to do it before or after I scroll? cut it up I think before I cut it up but maybe do the sliver right of how when it's gonna be open but we're not gonna open them on the top we're gonna open them on the sides so this will glue this shut um, maybe we'll use a different glue real quick here try this yeah because I just want to get the um, it's already sticky should I just lick it oh I don't want to lick it and I don't want a paper cut so we're just gonna go So if it's all the way down and that's the pocket, it'll go inside there. Yeah, so it should never touch that. Okay. There we go, and there we go. So then we would need, and I don't think I need to cut the sliver, duh, because I'm going to cut right here in the middle, right? So that's going to be my sliver. Sliver? This, is that what we call it? it? Sounds like a mean word. Okay. So now, now to decide, do I want the pockets to be this color and then when you open them to be the green or vice versa or what? What do we want? So it would all be green like that, which, or they would all be like this. And that's okay, even though it's like that. I kind of like that. Do you like that? Should one be that color and one be that? No, I can't do I don't want to do that. That's like too much math. Let's see. Let's just say it was like that. Do we want that? Or do we want... I want that. Okay, and then opening it up, it could be the other one. There we go. Okay, so let's do, now we just got to put this on there. Um, let's put this side as the, this side as the green, and the, um, we'll, we'll use this guy over here again, Mr. Glue Stick. Glue Stick, Glue Stick, Glue Stick, who do you think you are? this glue stick the glue is so thick and it's so sticky the first person I ever seen use this was um, I think it, her name correct me if I'm wrong if nobody else if somebody else knows but I think the first person I ever seen that used this was um, 
Crafty Cat USA. Does anybody watch her? She's pretty. She's a pretty good artist. Um, and then the second person I ever seen use this one was Pat uh, or Pat Pam at the Paper Outpost. So. And then I really liked how. Um, so I was like really intrigued with. Um, with. Crafty Cat. What's. Her name Amy. Okay. Oh my gosh. So, anyways, I was really intrigued with her using it. And then um, when Pam had it, Pam, I think she's the one that like really explained it a lot. And I really liked that. And that's when I bought it. And I never looked back <laughs> until I tried these ones because they were cheaper. And then I was like, oh my gosh. You get what you pay for, but um, not that it doesn't have its place, it does, I guess. All I can say is if you can afford the good glue, it's always worth it because you just use less of it. That was not a good, that was not a good smushy down, but that's all right. I think there's just air in my envelope. I didn't realize it was like a baggie. You had to squeeze the air out. There we go. Um, and then I'm gonna cut that out. But again, I'm gonna use this paper cutter because it really is easier on my hands. And I think I'm gonna go this way first to get this wide. I want this short strip to be the widest piece. Um, I think. No, I better do it this way just in case. Just in case I change my mind, and I want both sides to be green. I want to have it long enough. And I think what I'm going to do is everything I make, I'm going to make two of them. They might. I don't think I'm going to make them exactly the same colors, though. Well, I know I'm not. I want it to be different. But I'm going to make two of each one, and then that way I can put one on one side of this and one on the other side. And there's ten pieces of the cardstock paper, that thicker paper that we painted. And then there is nine pages of the coffee dye. So at this point in time, I don't think that I'm gonna put the these ephemera pieces on the coffee dye. I'm pretty sure I'm gonna stick with just the, uh, oh geez, I think I made a sliver, but um, I don't think, maybe I didn't. Um, but, and I'm gonna put the ephemera because it's, it just has more stability on the paper. I'm gonna put those on the, oops, I still need that on the cardstock, but I don't want one on every page, of course. There's So what, there's 10 pages, so that means if there's 10 pieces of the cardstock on one half of the signature, there's 20 pages of that cardstock, right? Because there's front and back. But I'm not putting 20 things in there. So I was thinking, how many do we put in there? I don't know. So this is going to measure at let me see where my little thing there is. It's right under nine. Okay, I think I'll do this. Is that gonna work? Yep, and then I saw a little piece of fold over. Okay. Um, and we will use this pencil with no lead. If it's got a little bit sticking out, maybe it's just enough. Okay, there we go. So I'm thinking, and I have the two the pockets in the front and the back. I have a pocket on the front and a pocket on the back. So there's two pockets. So if I do, what, like seven pieces of ephemera. I think I'm gonna go with five to start. And that'd be five on each side, so that's 10. Then we'll see how bulky it is. And then if we can add more, we will. What do you think? I think that'll work. Um, I can also always add like pieces of stationery here and there with clips if I wanted to. So there, there is that option as well. So see, now I have my little sliver. Now, did I cut that open on that side? Nope. Was it this side that I was worried about? And nope. Oh, wow. Lucky me. Lucky me. So now, and I was going to cover that before I did that, but oh well. Too late now. Too late. So if I did that one that way, and then that one that way, Oh my gosh, and they are not as big as my envelope, so that's funny. Doesn't matter, it's okay, just go with it. Just go with it. They should have went that way. And if they, well, they still can, can't they? I can hinge them. 
I can close my pockets. I can hinge these, close my pockets, and then reopen them to be the side. Yeah, because that was the whole thing. That was supposed to open like that, and then it was supposed to go like this. And this way it looks like it's like, oh look, she messed it up. I don't think there's a good secret hiding for that. So let's um, seal that up. <laughs> And then I have some really nice um, coffee dye pieces of paper that we can use for the hinges. And that would be nice because I think that would help tie in the, that because there's a coffee dye in between each of the papers. I think that would be nice. So we just need a little bit of glue, a thing major, and this one here. All right, catastrophe averted. So this one will go up here and then this one will go down here. Um, and then one will open one way and one will open the other way. So that's cute. So we'll need a, um, to cut the slivers on this now, right? And then make sure that's the side I want. So I'm just gonna cut, you know, a tiny little piece here just just itty bitty just to open it up. And my blade's old, so hopefully I just don't just destroy this, but Okay, fantastic. Good job. Good job. And we want the other side. Barely, come on, you can do it. There you go. I think that. Okay. Where's my page? Wouldn't it be funny if I just did the same thing again. Okay, I didn't think about it. <laughs> so we know that this is. That's the find my middle. And I'm just gonna use this ink pen. Whoops. Okay, so the middle is. There's that. We go there, there, and there. This is the middle right here. Okay, same thing with this one. Oh my gosh, am I putting that in the right place? Lord have mercy. Okay, let's try the same thing here. Okay, and then right here. Okay, now we will put this glue on. Jeez. I mean, put this lid on. <laughs> Grab my little my little notch here or my little circle this is the one inch punch and uh, gonna, so there's like this little x if you don't know i'm just teaching myself this stuff i think that's what i've been going on i think that's what that's for that little x and i just try to line that up i'm hoping that's what the middle is because that's what i've been doing ever since i've been doing that i've been getting my circles in a better spot or my notches okay you know, do that again. Get it lined up with that little X there. And, oops. Let me see how good I got to my, how far, how deep I went. Wow. I seriously, that, look at that. I can, I can put these together and you wouldn't even be able to tell. Well, maybe a little bit, but still, that's pretty darn good. Way to go, Joe. See, I should have um, put paper in there too. Still can, just is a lot harder now. I could just drop some ink in there too and, um, and some water and just let it mush around and let it dry. That would always work. I mean, so maybe I'll do that. But for now, I'm going to do just that. I think that'd be kind of cute. It would like, kind of like that same technique that we did on the other ones. So, so that goes like that, and then that goes like that. 
So we changed that up a little bit. That's good. I like that. Now the inside, when you open these, I want them to be this. So let's do that. Is this going to fit? And it's okay if it doesn't because I'll figure it out. I think it fits this way, which is fine, right? No. This goes like this. <laughs> so I wanted that clock. Yeah, that's fine. So. I'm making a career out of this, you guys. Well, I feel good about the, the one thing I feel good about um, not taking the job is that my husband was the one that was kind of pushing me to not, so I don't feel, I think that helps with my guilt at home. Like, I shouldn't have guilt. I know, but it's hard, you know? Who doesn't have guilt anymore? Like, I think at a certain, maybe you stop, I don't know. I feel like I'm, um, I don't mean this to be disrespectful or anything to anybody at all, but I just feel like, um, you know, every generation is different and my generation is a guilt-ridden generation, so we feel it, but I, it's like I have, like one of my daughters tells me, you know, it's like, you don't need to feel guilty about anything. And I'm like, well, I mean, kind of, like there's like that responsibility. And she's like, well, so, you, not the, and she's and she's such a wonderful daughter so she's a good girl it's just i'm just using her as an example as that things are just different and she's right on a on a on in one aspect that um i feel too guilty all the time for stuff there we go okay i like that now I don't think I'm gonna like that, but I could. That might be what we use for the hinge. So maybe put another piece there to strengthen it. So I will leave that to be. So this is gonna go. So that clock is like that, and I kind of I want that to be upright. So that's gonna go that way. This one's gonna go this way. Do I? What do I need to focus on on this side? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. I could do it any which way I want. So but I do like all those roses. So I guess kinda, but. Here, maybe we'll do it this way. I guess there is something to pay attention to. We'll do it that way. Okay. Edge right here. Oh my gosh. I don't think we're going to get the tags done. But we got this one done. Um, sort of. I think I'm... I'm I'm debating whether to sew around any of it because, you know, I like sewing, but the thing is, is that's going to add bulk. It, I want to say it won't, but it does add a little bit. But if I think if I just sew a few things, it won't be too bad. And I, but I really want to sew around the tags. I wonder if sewing around the tags, but not sewing around the pocket, does that, is that, that should be okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll do that instead because I, I think if I sewed anything, I would definitely want to sew the tags for sure. For sure. Now, I moved that all around, so which one's the edge right here? I know this is the edge, but is this, is this it too? Cheese, cheese and, cheese and crackers. Okay, here we go. Man, I'm hungry. <laughs> there we go. All right, I like that. I like that. I got glue everywhere, of course. My mat's so gross. What do you use to clean it that doesn't destroy it? I was thinking about using a magic eraser, but I don't know for sure if that'll work. But I have another really nice mat, but I like to keep that one for my um, surrealism collaging so that, and I, I, so I don't want it bumpy or anything and glues, glue makes things bumpy. my pace. What the heck did I do with it? Oh, here it is. Oh. So, let's see what we got. Let's see what we have. And I do want to put that together. That is going to be a belly band and 
I feel like it's just cute just like that. Um, it'd be very difficult to do. I could do a fake brat, but no, that's bumpy. Stop it, Sandra. But I'm gonna make that a belly band, so I'm going to go ahead and get that glued down. Ouch. Forgot there's a little pin in that thing. Got all excited and I just closed my hand on it. There we go. But it, it just barely got me. No battle wounds. <laughs> Let's see. So this one clock would be that way. So I know I folded it that way. I just wanted to get a good crease because see, it's gonna. I don't want it to like tear off on that. That would go like that, All right? And then this one, same thing down here. And then this one would go like this. And. I like that, I like it a lot. Okay, so then when we open these up, so now we have, a, we're gonna put a tag there that I just ran out of time today, but we're gonna make a tag here and we're gonna make a tag here. And then when we open these up, there's a page, which I don't know why I was worrying so much about that page right there because I mean, I'll probably put another little um, pocket or side thing right here, something to put something else inside here because otherwise that's that's kind of boring um we need something and then there'll be a tag in here and then there will be either a tag that goes down in here or a journal card that goes um on the side of here now when we put this on here on one of these pages we'll just use this one for instance we can put it right in the middle see how nice that fits I think what I'm gonna do is put a journal card that comes this way. It'd be a nice long journal card that can go in there. And then this one's gonna open up. Um, like I said, we're gonna put a little thing here. So I think that's where these pieces right here are gonna come in to put the belt on right there. Or not the belt. Well, I really like that. I really like that word belt, don't I? So this is gonna go here for a pocket like that. And then this one also will do the same thing. And then this one's gonna have the belly band. This is the belly band, so this is gonna have a piece that comes down in here. Um, and I, I think I have more of something like this, but I don't wanna put that color. We can put the thing in there. Yep, okay. So we will finish all that on the next one, and then we will also we'll put this aside. I'm gonna make another one of these for my idea book, and then we'll move on to some more ephemera for this one. But in between this, I still need to finish my pages for my idea book, um, covering some, and that's what I pulled all those digi prints for when I was going through everything. I'm just gonna start covering them up so I can start attaching stuff as we're making it. So, thanks for hanging out with me, my friends. Um, I hope you had fun. Have a wonderful evening, enjoy all your moments. Bye.